Okay. So um, first thing I wanted to talk about, going back to Kansas, uh, your wreck in the ARCA series, uh, you went to the hospital. What was going through your mind at that time? Because that was probably one of the worst wrecks of your career. Um, and what did that feel like? Yeah, definitely, definitely a hard hit. Um, you know, and I, I guess really in those moments, you kind of take um, the safety of the cars for granted, right? So to, um, I guess, look back after it, after the situation and kind of look at what happened and watch the video, it really makes you appreciate um, the safety that there is, right? And, and secondly, it just um, obviously just makes you uh, you know, appreciate just a little things a little bit more as well. You know, I mean, obviously, um, you know, something, you know, would have took a wrong turn or anything, something like that. Someone would have hit me, uh, you know, in the door or something like that could have been a different story, you know. So, um, you know, it just really makes you appreciate uh, little things more. And I guess it kind of, in my opinion, everything happens for a reason. Obviously, nothing like that you ever want to have happen happens. Um, but in those situations, you've got to learn even on the hard situations, you know, the good situations, anything you've got to kind of look back at them and, and learn something at least, you know, and uh, obviously it was just the wrong place, wrong time, nothing we really would have done differently. Um, you know, just, just wrong circumstance and wrong situation. But uh, if you look back at, at situations like that, you can at least learn something. And, and uh, you know, that was a really big turning point in my career with, um, you know, just safety aspects of things. And luckily, everything in the car was great and obviously kept me safe. Um, but on the other hand, it just really makes me um, fine-tune and make sure everything in the interior of the car is, is exactly to my liking, you, just for that reason. You know, uh, you never know um, what could happen. And, and obviously, the safety inside those cars are, are very important. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I can only imagine what that what that must be like, especially when you're, you're racing for a win and it, it just happens out of nowhere. Uh, but how, how difficult was that transition from Arca and Mandaleros all the way up to the cup series? You, you had that race at Martinsville racing around childhood heroes that, that, what was that like? Was it an easy transition for you? Um, Arca definitely prepared me well, you know, and I, I really love the series, um, missed the series actually, uh, you know, just the tracks that we went to, the, how the cars handled stuff like that. Um, really prepared me well for, you know, the NASCAR series, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm really thankful to be uh, a part of, uh, you know, the ARCA series and where they went and, you know, how they drove and, and stuff that they did, um, you know, to make them drive realistically kind of how, how the NASCAR series drive, you know. So that definitely helped at that level just to kind of have more, you know, seat time, um, you know. So it definitely was a big step, a big jump. But on the other hand, I, I really think that the ARCA series definitely prepared me uh, for that situation. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. And, um, I know that you work for, for work, Wear racing. Um, where did that relationship with Mike Harmon come in? Cause I know you race for him now. Um, where, where did you build that relationship with Mike Harmon working for work, Wear? Uh, it actually started with Rick. So Rick actually ran the 17 number last year, uh, at the beginning of the year. And Mike actually took it over halfway through the year. Um, but Rick actually owned the, the 17 number at the beginning of last year. So that's actually where it all got started and, and originated. But um, I've soon grown a relationship just with Mike himself. And obviously the, the whole opportunity this year has just been from, from uh, you know, the beginning of last year started, you know. So um, it's super thing. And, you know, just like I said earlier, just right, right situation, right time. Um, and, and, you know, relationships are huge, especially in the sport. So. Um, you know, obviously Rick started the relationship with, with, with Mike Harmon and I, but, um, you know, just an unbelievable guy uh, as an owner, as, as a driver, um, you know, and to, to kind of drive for him is, is awesome. So really cool situation. And, and I'm learning every day with, with uh, being around him, uh, like I said, as a businessman or, or even as a driver, you know, he's a great, uh, great coach on, on both ends. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And um, moving on to a, a, a few different questions here. Um, I want to know what your thoughts on the new 2021 schedule. And if you had an opportunity to race any one of those races that will be on that schedule, which one would you, would you go with? Mm, you know, just, um, you know, obviously to be at that level is incredible, first of all. Uh, and then, you know, secondly, obviously everyone will probably pinpoint, uh, you know, the, the dirt being something that's definitely out of the ordinary or, or different, uh, the biggest change, uh, you know, so always would like to be some, a part of something that's going to be different. So that would be a cool one to, 
to kind of uh, be a part of, but, you know, just secondly to be at that level. And, you know, that's what I'm shooting for day in and day out sponsorship wise, or, or, you know, just uh, I'm actually at Rick Ware's right now, um, you know, just trying to get opportunity, you know, so um, right place, right time, like I've said, and it, it, that's a big thing in this sport and uh, just trying to be ready. So ready for, uh, ready for anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. But uh, that that's really cool. Uh, the dirt's definitely going to be wild. I, I work at Bristol, so we're, we're getting ready for that on our end, but it would be really cool to see a race in that. Now, um, this past weekend, we had an in insane race at Talladega. Um, there was a lot of controversy surround, uh, surrounding the end of that race, and I wanted to know, what's your how do you feel about the yellow line rule at Super Speedways? You know, I've had a few conversations with a few people, you know, I mean, that last lap, obviously, when the white comes out and, and you know, they, they cross the start finish line, um, you know, obviously, to a safety standpoint, I understand it kind of in a way, you know, but um, on the other hand, I mean, you know, these drivers have, you know, at that point done 199 laps and, um, you know, they're just all going for the win, right? And, and whether, you know, someone shoves them under the other line or, you know, anything of that, you know, stance, I think they should. I don't know. It's a hard rule. I mean, obviously, you know, the way that they have it said is if you go into the yellow line, you, you get uh, disqualified. But they also have, a you know, the rule of, of where if someone shoves you under, it's actually the other guy's fault, you know. So it's it's a hard situation. Like, it's I, I don't know. It's it's definitely a hard one to do. I, I think, in my opinion, to an extent, I think that the last lap should kind of be the last lap and you kind of, you know, first man to the start finish line in a way. But, you know, I, I do want to keep safety in, in a in a sense there and obviously it can't be you know someone going through the grass all the way and then you know taking the guy out or, or whatever kind of thing you know but to an extent I think that the last lap should be a little different rule in that case just to not so much affect the outcome of the race in a way like it like it did um but to um I don't know like I said it's, it's a hard rule you know and, and obviously the way they have it is if you go into the yellow line it's it's the penalty but uh the last lap, in my opinion, should be just a little bit different. Don't really know what route, but uh, at least a little bit more lenient on, on some aspects. Yeah, I agree with you there. I think that there definitely should be some kind of change on NASCAR's part to make it a little more fair to the fans and the competitors. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I, hey, man, I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. I won't keep you any longer. But, uh, hey, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And, you know, stay strong, and we'll, we'll see you back at the track soon. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thanks for the hey, time. Not a problem.